Hi friends, welcome to the PowerShell Recipes tutorial series. In this tutorial, I will show you guys how to convert a string to uppercase or lowercase. So let's get started. Now the first thing that you do guys is um, let's create a um, variable and let's call it text1 and we put in something like uh, hello PowerShell. Now if we review the content of this variable, it shows hello PowerShell. But what if we want to convert this into uppercase? So in order to do that, we have to use the to upper functional. Now, when we do that, you can see that hello PowerShell, it gets converted to uppercase. So let me clear the screen and let's create another variable. Let's call it text2 and let's type in something like hello world and all of them. Sorry, let's do it this way this time. Hello world. So you can see that the H and the W, they are both capital and the others are lowercase. So what if you want to convert all of them to lowercase? So what you have to do is use the to lower function. And now you can see that the W in here and also the H, it gets converted to lowercase. But what if you have something like this? So first clear the screen. Let's call it text tree. And let's put in something like only hello. So if I type text tree. But what if you only want to use this H, capitalize this H, not the others. Now, in order to do that, let me first explain the substring function to you guys. So let's say we have this substring function. And what I want to do is that I want to only select this H in here. So in order to select that, I pass in 0 and 1. If I press enter, you can see that it gets selected. So remember, in computer, the index always starts at 0. So H is 0, E is 1, L is 2, then this L is 3, and this O is 4. So what I'm saying, select the one that is at zero and up to one. So it doesn't show the one, but it shows us the edge. Now, let's say we want to select the second one, the E. So if I press two, you can see that it doesn't show me only that one. It starts from the second one. So it's zero, one, two. Okay, you can see that now it's double L-O. It shows me till the end. So the second specifier is very important for us to enter. So what I want to see is that I want to see only E. How do I do that? I type in show me one and then uh, one. So what it does is that you can see that it only shows me the E character. Now let's say I want to see E, the e and the, this two L's. In order to do that, I have to specify one and four. Now you can see that, sorry, not one and four, one and three. So what it does is that it shows E and double L. Now in order to see the last character, which is O, all you have to do is use the last one. So the four one, what it does is that it shows O. Now you can work with it in your free time, practice it until you get used to it. That's how it works. But what we want to do is that we want to use all of them. So what we want to do is that we will use parts of this one to select H this one you can see that the result is h and we want to use this hello so in here in order to select e double l o what we did was that we specified one and four the easy way of doing it is just say type in one you can see that it says start with one so h is zero then e is one so that's why it starts at zero and it goes till the end of it so these two this is the one that we will be using so you know that one this one in this command and this one, the edge. So let's uh, do this. How do we do that? The first thing that we do is that we create a new variable and we call it new text tree. And then we are saying use text tree dot. And after that, we are saying sub string. And we are saying that select the first one. And then I'm using this to upper function. So what it does is that it converts it to uppercase. And then I'm adding text three dot sub string and then plus sorry not plus this one you can see that if I type new text tree you can see that the edge gets capitalized however the others don't why is it like this because in here you can see that this function is this in here it returns edge and then I'm passing this edge to this two lower function which to upper counts to upper function sorry 
So what it does is that it um, only capitalizes the first one. And then I'm saying text tree dot substring one, which is this function in here. What it does is that it takes all these four characters or four letters and it adds it to the end of H. So this is how you can capitalize letters in PowerShell. Um, and if you found this tutorial useful, make sure to share it with your friends. And if you have any questions, suggestions, or recommendations, feel free to put it in the comment section below. And I'll see you guys in the next one.